Hey guys, um, I'm just gonna do the answer key here for you guys so that you don't have to send in your work like it's real school. Okay, so um, Max implied that I went too fast and that I didn't do a good job teaching this, but he is what I like to call wrong. So first thing you should have done is drawn that little line and then created your metric conversion chart. So remembering that in the middle are your basic units. And in this case, because we're doing length, it's gonna be meter. And then on this side are gonna be our smaller units. Okay, remembering that they're deci, centi, and milli, vanilli. And then over here, we've got deca, hecto, and kilo, and that's really important. And so if this was a quiz or a test or even an assignment, that's the first question that would be on there is like, can you draw the, the metric system so that you have something to help you through this all. Okay, and so that's an M is the prefix, the letter, C, D, this would be M. So then when we put it together, we get millimeter, centimeter, decimeter. Now deca starts with the same letter. So remember, it's a little bit different. It's D, A. And then hecto is H and kilo is K. So these are called prefixes and we add them together with the basic unit to create other units of measurement. So what we do here now is we're gonna take 600 millimeters and we're gonna turn that into kilometers. And I think I did the first two, but we're gonna go over them again. And you see how I left lots of open space down here? That's because I actually need a spot to do this. Like I said, some people don't, but I always need a strategy because I, I just need that. So other thing I wanna remind you about is that when we have a whole number, the decimal is really at the back. Now we know in numbers we can't have two decimals, so we're gonna replace the decimal, right? That's gonna be our original, and then we're gonna replace it. So we're moving from millimeters to kilometers. So we'll go back to our chart, millimeters all the way to kilometers. We're moving one, two, three, four, five, six places. So there's two questions. Which way are you moving? How many places do you have to move? So we're moving to the left and we're moving six times. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now remember that's my strategy. Max didn't like making those little, little divots. Okay, so there's our new decimal. We get rid of the original. You can't have two decimals in a number. That's not a thing. So your answer here, and I realize I did do a crappy job of, of making this. Zero and one, two, okay, and we can stop there. You don't need these other zeros behind there. If you put them, they're not wrong, but this number would read zero and six one thousandths. That's your answer. Okay, so now let's do this one. 37 centimeters to meters. So again, we start at the centimeters, and then we're gonna move to meters, and that is a move of two to the left. So where's the original decimal? At the back, we're gonna move two to the left. Here's our new decimal, we cross that one out. Answer would be zero and 37 one hundredths of a meter. Question number three. Okay, we've got 1,021 kilometers. There's where our new de our, our original decimal is. And we're moving to, and not decimeters, that would be D-A-M. We're moving to decimeters. So from kilometers to decimeters. One, two, three, four. And this time we're moving to the right. So here we go. One, two, three, four. And then we fill in these zeros. Okay, and so the answer is 10,210,000 decimeters. That would be the right answer. Okay, now we're gonna move from 32 one hundredths of a kilometer, and we're gonna go all the way to millimeters. So that's from one end of the spectrum to the other as we know it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're moving six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I always just fill them in with zeros. There's my new decimal so I scratch out my other one now of course we wouldn't put that there that was a placeholder to show that there was no whole numbers originally so zero and 30 nope sorry now I'm messing my own self up here so 320,000 millimeters all right question number five we're moving from 10,000 meters to kilometers. So if we take a look up here, meters to kilometers, one, two, three to the left, original decimal is at the end of a whole number, one, two, three, there's our new number. And that would simply be 10. These would become redundant. We wouldn't need these numbers behind. We would just say 10 kilometers. 
All right, 10 millimeters going to hectometers. So here's millimeters, and we're gonna to move to hectometers. We're gonna to move to the left, one, two, three, four, five places. So here's the original decimal, one, two, three, four, five. New decimal, fill in the zeros. Now in science, they would always make you put a zero out in front, zero and, one, two, three, one, and again, this one behind here would be redundant. So we would have one ten thousandth of a hectometer. All right, next one. Six meters to kilometers. So meters is a base unit, and we're going to move to kilometers. One, two, three to the left. Original decimal. Two, three. Put the new decimal here. Scratch that one out. Zero and six one thousandths of a kilometer. Next one. 15 decameters. So I put these ones on here so you can see the difference. DAM and then just DM. So 15 decimals here. Let's go up here to our chart. Decameter to decimeter. We're moving two places to the right. One, two. Put the zeros in. Scratch out the original decimal. And remember, in a whole number, we don't have to put the decimal in. If you put it in, you're not wrong. Okay, and I only have two left on my sheet because my printer cut this off. So this is as far as I can go three meters to centimeters. Meters is a base unit, one, two. So we're gonna move two places to the right, or you can simply think just add two zeros and your answer is going to be 300 centimeters. Okay, our brains all work a little bit differently, so it's whatever makes the most sense to you. Last one, kilometer to meter. One, two, three to the right. Original decimal in a whole number is right at the back. So one, two, three, fill in those zeros and you're gonna get 6,000 meters. Okay, so I think because this is fairly new, Max says he hasn't learned it before, we're gonna do another assignment on this at some point, but there's a start and there's you can check a look at your work here when you got time.